Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today is another collab video. This is very late but I wanted to get it done in June. We've got one coming up in July. The reason I wanted to do this one so much was because I really like the two characters that we chose to do. I know that Claire and Victoria already did um, Ariel and I thought do you know what I think I'm going to do Belle. They were the choices Belle or Ariel and I was wearing orange nail polish and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to go for it. And I'm really happy with how it's come out. I hope you guys can see it okay. I can't see a darn thing if I'm honest. Um, but if you guys can see it, that's good. So um, this is the look I've gone for. Obviously, with the collab and the Disney Princess collab, please link down below. Uh, no, sorry, please go to the links below for all of my collab lovelies. We've got Victoria, Steph, um, Claire, Tanya and licks all five of them have joined in at some point or are joining in, in the future so um these are the um girls that we talk to on a regular basis have formed some really good friendships as well so please go and check them out and their videos if they've got them more blog posts etc so i will link all that down below as usual anyway thank you very much for watching subscribe if you want to see more of these they come up every first friday of the month apart from this month because i was on honeymoon um but yeah give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think thanks guys I have actually, oh, let me just sort that out. I've put my base on. Um, you can see I've done a contour. And I was trying to think what would be the best. And I think I'm going to use this Rise Art palette. This is, palette. This is the editorial palette. So firstly, I'm going to put on my uh, base. I'm going to use the Fergie by Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow base. I've got a really bad tummy ache. It's not good. Oof, it's quite painful. So that is going on first on both the lids. This is really tacky. If you get it in the corner of your eyes, it really gathers uh, powder. So I try not to put powder on after my eyebrows need doing. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. That is dreadful. Anyway, so Belle is like the yellow princess, isn't she? Um, I was going to do the Little Mermaid. But I feel like nobody else did it and I feel sad about that. I feel very sad. So I've put that base on. I'm actually just going to put on a little bit of this Too Faced blush in Love Hangover. It's a peachy blush. I don't want a lot. I've already done my contour and everything so I just wanted to put a bit for colour. Um, I'm just using this brush from Makeup Revolution. It's so soft. It's just lovely. I just find oh get that pick that colour up and put that on the cheeks. There we go. So I'm gonna use mainly sort of yellows, oranges, etc. And for them to stand out, I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil. I wish this twisted up, it's so annoying it has to be sharpened. Um, but I'm gonna use that all over the lid first. I love this for helping things to stand out. I've got an eye bogey. How lovely. So I put this all over the lid first. I must find out how to sharpen these properly because um, it really worries me that I can't sharpen them very well. There we go. These are so thick and tacky, like really sticky. There we go. If you've not tried the jumbo pencils, they're well worth it because they just make everything look so much better. So, this palette here, amazing. I'm going to start with um, I might have to use some other colours actually because there are a lot of brights in here and feel like there isn't a neutral so I'm just going to find a neutral in one of these palettes I think actually this is my um this is my contour palette but there's this beautiful color here so I'm just going to use that as an all over the eye base as in over this bit here um just to give me something to lay that color down on I do find I struggle to do eye looks if I don't put that down first so pop that on first and then I'm going to start with I think the orange and I'm just going to tap so lightly because these are ridiculously pigmented 
um, just put it on the end there and I'm going to pop that into the crease here. I'm only going to do the same on both sides um, so that I can work it through. I don't want it to be overly um, pigmented, I just want it to be as light as possible. So I'm just going to work that through, blend it as much as I can. And the same on this side. I will just build it up naturally. There is, um, it's such a stunning colour. It's like bright orange. I'm just tapping it in. And then I will work it through. It's almost red. It's so bright. Um, someone was asking about brightly coloured palettes and I can't recommend this one enough. It's just so highly pigmented. It is stunning. I'm just going to do that first. just want it as a transition. I really want to blend it into that bit at the top first. Then I'm going to take that yellow. I'm going to be brave and I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to use a flat paddle brush and work it onto the eye. I've never used bright yellow like this before. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely yellow. This is bright. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I don't know what we think yet. I mean, you know, there's a lot to do yet. We're not just going to put on the yellow and the orange and that's it. I think uh, there needs to be a bit more than that. So just going to work this in. I'm just packing on the colour here, as you can see. Oh, I, just, I love these. There's no fallout whatsoever. Just packing that on. the lovely and I'm just going to blend some of the orange into that into the edge I need to sort of pack that on top of oh it makes it a really lovely orange colour just pack that on into the yellow did I say red then I meant yellow and I'm just going to do the same on this side Just on the outer V. Oh man, this is so beautiful. You can sort of put the colours on top of each other. I've not used these like this before, so it's a real learning curve for me. Um, I'm just going to blend all of that in. Same on this side. I really like the colours. Wow, that is bold, very bold. So I want to make sure that the yellow is not quite in the corner. So I'm going to grab a small uh, detail sort of pencil brush. It's not really a pencil brush, just a detailer. And I'm going in with the white and I'm going straight into the inner corner of the eye. There you can really see the difference in that. All of these are matte. I haven't got any shimmers on at the moment, but I'm thinking about putting on a bit of gold in a minute. So just taking that, I'm just going to take it under the eye as well. Brighten that up slightly. Excellent. So what colour am I going to do underneath? I'm going to take the Violet Voss palette and there are some beautiful colours in here, not even touched it. And there's some really nice colours. I think I might take Teddy Bear, which is this lovely dark brown at the bottom. Um, and just take a detailer brush and just go underneath the eye with that. Oops. Lovely and pigmented. Oh, there's a mirror in it. Just taking that underneath the eye. As close to the lash line as possible. And I'm just going to do a very gentle sort of um, soft 
collar in the in the outer V there. I'm just going to sort of take it, work it up from there, and just put it on this outer V, like so. And the same is here on this side, under the eye first. Hopefully you can see this. I'll get in as close as I can. So under the eye first, and then working that up as if it was a um, flick, uh, a winged liner, but we're just adding that detail in of the V here, like so. Just making it really crisp. I will be softening that up with a, um, uh, what do you call it? What is it called? Blending brush. Can't remember the name of things. I've been out of the game too long. I'm just popping that under the eye. Perfect. Now to blend. I want to blend out this. Whoops. Blend out this into the rest of the look. So it doesn't look so sharp. Beautiful. And the same here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I can't, that's the issue, I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, that blends so nicely. Lovely. I'm just going to use a bit more of that brown so that I can really join up underneath. I feel like it's not quite joined up, that's better. And the same here, it's like a reddy brown, it's called Teddy Bear from the Violet Boss palette. It's just really stunning. And then I'm going to take, and now I did bring it with me, but I can't see it, so it must still be in my makeup bag, a brown eyeliner. Yes, it's here. And I'm just going to line the inside of my eyes with this brown eyeliner. This is a essence gel liner. They're really good for um, lining inside the eyes. And I'm just gonna, oh, just gonna tight line that as well. Hate tight lining. Does anybody else hate tight lining? And then the same on this eye. I bet you guys don't like seeing this either. I know that um, many people dislike seeing people use eyeliner in their waterline and then mascara and I'm going to use the false lash sculpt mascara and just coat each lash I just want them fluttery as possible love this mascara so much it lengthens like crazy doesn't it oh I love it. Is this the new one? I think so. I've already used one. I don't ever finish them as well. So the fact that I finished a mascara means that I must love it. Um, yeah, it's great. The brush is weird, but I don't care. It does the job. It does the job. So, adding that. There we go, and as a lower lashes. So on the lips, I'm using, um, I wanted to represent the rose slightly, but I didn't want to steer away from the yellow orange theme. So I'm using the Maybelline Color Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil in Fab Orange. This is beautiful. It's such a, a lovely, bright orange when you don't get it all over your face <laughs> and there you go and that is my look thank you so so much for watching keep watching there are going to be so many more videos sorry this is late but you know I was on honeymoon and so I couldn't 
really do it. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, guys.